Sometimes you may choose to hand your phone to a friend, such as when you want them to view a couple of pictures of a recent trip, such as this one here to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. However, you may not want that friend to have access to all of your other apps at the same time. Fortunately, Android offers a feature that allows you to pin that app and prevents your friends from looking at other apps on your phone. Setting it up and using it is rather straightforward. Let's take a look at the steps. First, you'll need to navigate to the settings. Then, you'll need to find the setting that allows you to pin a window. You can obviously go through the normal menu in order to find that, and this in particular would be located under security. However, I find it's almost always faster to just search for the particular setting that you would like to change. In this case, I'm going to search for pinning a window and then open up that setting. Here you can see that I can turn that on and additionally I can also take a look at additional settings such as this one here which requires that a pin number be used in order to change the particular app that's going to be used next. Once you've set that you can then open the particular application that you want to pin, utilize the Recents button to take a look at all of the applications that you've recently had open, and then click on the icon at the top of that particular application and set the feature called Pin This App. From here, I'm getting a visual display indicating to me how I can unpin that app which requires that I hold down both the recent and the back button at the same time. So now you can see that the screen is pinned. If I try to use the recent button, I'm unable to. If I try to use the back button, I can use, still use that here within this particular app, but I cannot use the button in order to close the app. As you can see, it has been pinned. In order to get out of pin mode, I'll hold down both the recent as well as the back button at the same time. You can see then that it's taken me to my lock screen and in order to get back in I'll either need to put in my pin or use the fingerprint in order to access that application again. Now however I can see additional applications that are ready as well as access the rest of the phone.